hello friends today we will going to discuss about the scrambling and unscrambling intersymbol interference and i diagram in the baseband digital transmission what is the mean of the scramble the scramble is the very important for secure uh, security of the data which is able to transmitted from transmission as well as the reception side for secure data in military application or any commercial application where data security is important the scrambler may be used for the data randomized or for encryption purpose and scramble means to binding the data and to binding the data such a way that the unauthorized person cannot able to decrypt the data to read the data that take care in case of the scrambler scrambling technique a randomizer it makes the data more random by removing the long string of ones and zeros and that helpful in the timing extraction and an encryption the scramble may be used for preventing the unauthorized access to the data then the simplest form of the scrambling is to add the long pn sequence to the data sequence which is modulo 2 addition and with the help of the modulo 2 addition the data will be shifted by bit by bit and the scramble consist of the feedback register and corresponding d scrambler it has consisting of the forward register uh, my dear student you take care uh, where while you design the scrambler the feedback register is a very important because the feedback register simultaneously whatever the bit should be received after the modulo addition it will be shifted to the shift register and the corresponding d scrambler has the feed forward register and in the receiver the d scrambling is done using the same uh, pseudo random sequence and the scrambler and d scrambler defined by the polynomial of its lfsr and its initial state then this is the uh, design of the scrambler and unscrambler if you have to be uh, seen here carefully the scrambler it consist of there are the five shift register and there is a forward feed forward here is the register there are the two one is for the feedback register and another is for feed forward register then this is the feedback register because whatever the output is a taken from s2 that will be given to the uh, buffer and this is the feedback register and feed forward register whatever the s2 dash that will be given to the input of the d scrambler and d scrambler is the feed forward register and to convert such a way that which is s3 which is equal to s1 then this is the construction of the uh, scrambler and as well as the unscrambler and the data will be put on the channel which is the encrypted manner and which is decrypted by with the help of this unscrambler uh, with the reference of the figure the t uh, which is equal to t is the output of this scrambler s yes, is the input t dash is the data will be put on the channel and which is received by the receiver side and r is the received data then t which is equal to s yes, modulo addition of the ft then s yes, modulo addition f of t and t which is equal to this data t which is equal to there is a d d square t plus d raised to 5t means this data should be shifted to the here therefore s yes, is the function of the t we have written here yes modulo addition of yes modulo addition of d square t plus d raised to 5 that will be depends upon the uh, whatever the number of the shift register the highest value of this polynomial the highest value of the polynomial is 5 therefore for scrambler as well as on the d uh, unscrambler means here is the feed forward register and the uh, feedback register and feed forward register which consist of the five register which is able to store the single bit data then in the scrambler the tt operated by f and added to the s added to the s and f stands for the operator because f which is equal to d square modulo addition of the d5 that will be given then d denotes the effect of delaying sequence by one and d k raised to t represents the t delayed by the k bits since there are the five bits and hence this five bits there are the uh, five buffer register where data will be able to shift here then to take a one example here there is a long bit of the sequence there is a one 
ज़ीरो 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 मीन्स वन इलेवन टाइम्स ज़ीरो शुड बी गिवन एंड दिस इज द डेटा देन हाउ इट विल बी एबल टू ऑपरेटेड एंड टू गेटिंग द आउटपुट ऑफ द टी वी हैव सीन हियर देन हियर इज द स्क्रैम्बलर देन हियर इज द वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव मीन्स देयर आई हिट द फाइव शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विच इज कॉल्ड एज द बफर रजिस्टर एज वेल एज द शिफ्ट रजिस्टर and the data will be shifted in the forward register this is the forward register and feedback register feed forward register and feedback register then this data t which is to be given this a t is a totally depends upon the s and s is a given 1 11 times 0 then how it will be able to operate it at initially what happens the content in the all shift registers are zero means in the buffer register 1 2 3 4 and 5 this all buffer register which content is a zero therefore here yes 1 2 3 4 and 5 that all content are zero then at initially this one should be received means the one will be come here which is model addition of the zero because the content in the all the shift registers are zero therefore zero model addition of the one then the value of the t is yes modulo addition of the zero which is equal to 1 therefore here 1 this modulo addition of zero then which is equal to 1 then what happens the next bit zero is received means here yes which is equal to zero then what happens if yes which is equal to zero then in previous state the value of the t is the 1 that one will be come to the here one will be come to the here means the content in the here the content in the shift register is 1 0 0 0 0 means the whatever the content is available in the shift register 2 which is again modulo addition means yes is a zero modulo addition of the zero the resultant is a zero and zero will be come here and here the previous content 1 that will be shifted into the 2 the previous content of the 2 is a 0 again that will be shifted to the 3 3 will be shifted to the 4 4 will be shifted to the 5 and 5 will be come to the here means 2 modulo addition of the 5 means here 2 modulo addition of the 5 uh, whatever the resultant that will be come to the next bit okay means your output for the second case of this t which is equal to 0 then next what happens here is the 1 1 will be shifted to the here 1 will be shifted to the here and the content of the 5 means here is the 1 previous case 0 0 is shifted to the here again 0 is shifted to the here again 0 is shifted to the here then the 0 modulo addition means for this case here Zero modulo addition of zero means zero modulo addition of the zero means content of this one will be come to the here. Okay, means at the third case, the second case, what happens in the second case? Uh, two in the content of the two will be zero and the resultant will be zero zero plus zero zero again zero will be come to the here for third case. then zero will be come to the one in the previous content one will be go to the two then content of the two will be shifted to the three means for this case for this case the resultant is the two modulo addition of the zero one modulo addition of the zero zero that will be come to the one okay then one more steps we have seen the next case what happens the next bit will be come to the here means next bit is the zero means at a four times there is a zero that zero will be come to the here then the previous content of the one is a zero content of the two is one and content of the three is a zero then the zero will be shifted to the here zero will be shifted to the here then this will be shifted to the here one then previous content of the 3 will be shifted to the here in 4 then we have seen these two parameter 0 
model addition of the zero that is the zero and the previous content of this is a zero the whole resultant will be come to the zero means in this way we have to be process the data from t which is equal to 1 means this is the output of the scrambler actually your data is the 1 11 times 0 but after the scrambling your data is 1010111011100 understand and that data is able to put on the channel that will be received by the receiver side okay means this data will be come to the here then 1010111 0 1 1 0 1 means this data will be come to the here and here is the feed forward register whatever the data should be received by the t which is shifted to the register 1 here is the 0 here is the 0 here is the 0 means whatever the resistance should be come to the here here is the 1 s dash is the t dash is the 1 and here here is the t dash that will be given to the here then 0 here is the 0 here content is a 0 then after that 5 is the 0 0 module addition of the 0 and first is a 1 that will be given to the here then 1 module addition of the 0 there is a 1 means yes dash which is equal to 1 will become okay the next case what happens the next case your received data is a 0 then whatever this resultant that resultant will be come to the here because directly it will be put on the shift register 1 ok then here is the 0 here is the 0 0 module addition of the 0 0 received data is received data is t dash is a 0 therefore zero model addition of the zero then next is the zero means whatever the recovered data s dash which is equal to 1 11 times 0 which is exactly same to that of the s means s e which is equal to s dash means whatever the data this data is the scrambled scrambled means here actual data to be transmitted that will be received by the receiver side and with the help of the feed forward register to recover the data s dash which is equal to 1 11 times 0 means here s yes, which is equal to s yes, dash we want to getting the output in this way we have to be scrambled the data and unscrambled the data and to recover the original input signal to be transmitted then here one more example in this example to realize the scramble and descrambler with the pn sequence polynomial 1 plus x cube plus x5 and uh, that determine the sequence is obtained uh, with the output of the scramble and the unscrambled data actually your data should be recovery is a 0 1 0 1 1 this is the scramble data and we have to be after the whole the process whatever i have to be explaining the previously to recover the data and this data is a transmitted in this way 01010 that will be received to the here and to reco uh, recover it then next the band limited channel and inter symbol interference then what happens for this case the rectangular pulses are suitable for the infinite bandwidth channels uh, particularly the wide band and practically channels are the band limited and this band limited means the pulses spread in a time are uh, the simmered into the adjacent slot and this is the inter symbol interference means basically there are the two channels and that two channel will become overlap together there is a some aliasing and due to that aliasing there is an inter symbol interference should be created <coughs> sorry here is the input binary waveform and that input binary waveform should be given here 
there is a 1000 after that 1000 here is the individual pulse response should be given and that individual pulse response here the intersymbol interference should be created once this will be able to received at the received waveform means this case for of this input binary waveform but during what happens the sampling point for the transmitter clock here is the 1011 this data is transmitted then here is the logic 1 therefore pulse should be available for here then after the logic 0 means here is a no pulse should be available here is the logic 1 and logic 1 there are the two pulses these two pulses will be available to the here then whatever the sampling point at the receiver side for this case there are the intersymbol interference should be created because there is a there are the two waves should be aliasing and due to that aliasing the intersymbol interference should be created and just like this type of the waveform is received by the receiver side with the help of the receiver clock then that intersymbol interference uh, we have to be conveyed way to observe the effect of the isi with the help of the i diagram and uh, this i diagram is able to represent that uh, how much percentage of the noise will be added into the original information bearing signal is in the form of the digital data suppose this is for ideal case in case of the ideal case data is transmitted there is a 011001 this data is transmitted and from that data for ideal filtering here is the i pattern should be given having the bit duration is the tb means you are completely to open the i and once it will be completely to open the i it indicates that there is a no error or no any intersymbol interference should be happen in a uh, information bearing signal then we have to be filtering with the intersymbol interference then this type of the waveform is shown this type of the waveform is shown there and for that case and for that case here the bit duration is the tb then here there is a slightly to open the i once it is to show the slightly to open the i it indicates that the there is a the finite noise will be added into the information bearing signal and once the noise pulses here the noise pulses is a completely added or impact on the information bearing signal then uh, it will be noisy and uh, to see to close the eyes then this is called as the noise margin okay and here is the maximum distortion maximum distortion then oscilloscope presentation of the signal with the multiple sweeps and the triggered by the clock signal which is slightly larger than the symbol interval interval then this uh, quality of the received signal may be estimated the normal operating condition there is a no intersymbol interference the i is a completely open this is the i of the completely open here is to show the standard characteristics of the i diagram and normal operating condition for uh, normal operating condition there is a no intersymbol interference and no noise your i is a completely open in large intersymbol interference of the noise the i is a closed then here to show the sensitivity to timing error sensitivity to the timing error and here is the noise margin here is the noise margin once the noise margin is a completely big then minimum error and here is the distortion zero crossings uh, this will be able to show the distortion zero crossing and to show here the peak distortion here is the to peak distortion then timing error allowed it the width of the eye called is the eye opening and once it will be calculated there is a preferred sampling timing minus at large vertical eye opening and sensitivity to the timing error the slope of the open eye evaluated at a zero crossing point then noise margin which is the height of the eye opening then uh, we have seen uh, what is the actual application about the uh, base 
ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टीम और बेसमैंड सिस्टीम ओवर द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफ्रेंस हियर इज द इनपुट पाम सिग्नल शुड बी गिवन देर इज एक्स ऑफ टी विच इज इक्वल टू ए ऑफ एन एस टी टी माइनस एन टी एंड आउटपुट सिग्नल इज अ वाई ऑफ टी विच इज द रिकवर्ड राउंडेड पल्स ओके एंड हियर वंस वी हैव टू बी कैलकुलेटेड द सैम्पल्ड आउटपुट टी विच इज इक्वल टू एम ऑफ टी देन हियर सम एडिशनल पैरामीटर विल बी एडेड देर देर इज अ ऑफ एम ई एस जीरो विच इज द ट्रांसमिटेड सिम्बॉल प्लस समेशन ऑफ एन इज नॉट इक्वल टू एम ए ऑफ एन इन टू एस एम माइनस एन दिस पैरामीटर इज अ इंडिकेटेड बाय देर इज अ इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस दिस इज द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस देन वॉट वी डू फॉर दिस केस एस ऑफ एम माइनस एन विच इज इक्वल टू एस ऑफ एम ऑफ टी माइनस एन ऑफ टी मीन्स द टी ट्रांजिशन फॉर दिस टाइम ड्यूरेशन टू वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस देन पल्स शेपिंग टू इलिमिनेट द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस हाउ टू रिमूव द पल्स शेपिंग टू इलिमिनेट द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस बेसिकली इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एट द निकवेस्ट डिस्कवर्ड द थ्री मेथड थ्री मेथड मेथड्स टू इलिमिनेट द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस द फर्स्ट मेथड इज द जीरो आई एस आई पल्स शेपिंग इन जीरो इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस पल्स शेपिंग नेक्स्ट इज द कंट्रोल्ड आई एस आई मीन्स हियर वी हैव टू बी इलिमिनेट द लेटर ऑन बाय इक्विलाइजर एंड जीरो एवरेज आई एस आई इज नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव एरिया अंडर द पल्स इन द एडजस्टेंट इंटरवल आर इक्वल देन इन केस ऑफ द जीरो आई एस आई पल्स शेपिंग वी हैव टेकन हियर फॉर दिस पल्स एस ऑफ एन टी विच इज इक्वल टू एस जीरो एन विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो और जीरो विच इज एन इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स वी हैव टू बी कन्वर्ट इन दैट इक्वेशन सच अ वे दैट वेर वाई ऑफ एम विच इज इक्वल टू ए एम एस जीरो मीन्स दिस पैरामीटर वी हैव कंप्लीटली रिमूट विथ रिमूव दिस पैरामीटर कंप्लीटली टू रिमूविंग द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस देन हियर एग्जाम्पल शुड बी गिवन हियर इज द एस ऑफ टी द कोसाइन फंक्शन ऑफ द एफ जीरो ऑफ टी एंड एस ऑफ एन टी विच इज इक्वल टू साइन सी एन ऑफ टी मीन्स हियर एन वेर एन इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सिंपल्स अलाउ टू इलिमिनेट द इंटर सिम्बॉल इंटरफरेंस फॉर द सैम्पलिंग इंस्टंट हियर इज द सैम्पलिंग इंस्टंट शुड बी गिवन then nikves criteria for zero inter symbol interference for this case uh, we have provided the generic solution to the zero inter symbol interference and here also there are the three cases the first case is that if your operating frequency should be greater than twice that of the maximum frequency for this case uh, no way to eliminate the inter symbol interference on which case you have to be remove the inter symbol interference there is also some cases that cases will be coming there to fulfill then and then only you have able to remove the inter symbol interference where f0 should be greater than twice that of the maximum frequency then there is a no way to eliminate the inter symbol interference if your operating frequency f0 is twice that of the maximum frequency then here we have eliminate the inter symbol interference then the highest possible transmission rate is the f0 for transmission with zero inter symbol interference because your operating frequency which is equal to twice that of the maximum frequency to vary to verify the sampling theorem and your operating frequency is less than the twice of that of the maximum frequency then many signals may eliminated the inter symbol interference then here are uh, some examples to find out in the case first if the operating frequency should be greater than the twice that of the maximum frequency then the parameter here is the inter symbol interference should be created because there is a some delay between the two signals everywhere then if exactly the f0 which is equal to twice that of the maximum frequency then one by one your pulses is a going to be transmitted means there is a not possibility to add the signal or aliasing and for this case uh, here we have completely removed the inter symbol interference and the next is that 
the next is that here the w which is equal to f max for this your operating frequency is a less than twice that of the maximum frequency then for this case the aliasing should be happen due to the aliasing here is also the possibility to remove the very less amount of the inter symbol interference uh, up to my previous slide all of you understand that what is the scrambling